Hi, everyone. I'm Richard Fredrickson, and this is our first broadcast on Zoom, linked to you on Channel 6 JCTV. You know, these days, we can't do the show like we, well, we normally do, with Dick Schuster behind the camera and uh, Millie Schuster directing and Saul Garcia putting it all together after we're all finished. Well, Saul still will do that. Schuster will still be. Uh, we're going to talk to him in just a minute, by the way. He's going to be in my first interview because I thought that, well, since we're doing it, differently and uniquely uh, these days. I might as well have Mr. Unique on with me and then we'll go back on a little bit of history. I, I don't know if you realize this or not, but JCTV Channel 6 is a volunteer local station. All the folks you see on Channel 6 are volunteers working their regular jobs and then also coming on board and doing these volunteer jobs. <laughs> Nobody gets the big paycheck, including me. So it's great to have you here today and um, well, let's see if we can't uh, knock on the door and uh, go over there to the Dick Schuster estate and see if we can't uh, peel back some of the history of JCTV. Okay, you're looking for me, I hear, Richard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are. Well, I'm out in the ocean here, so it's kind of hard to hear with the waves, you know, the noise. Know. You know I'm how so, they go. I'm so envious of you. I'm, I'm yeah. Telling you. You're, you're well, as soon as we're done with the interview, I got to get on my surfboard. So yeah, you know, yeah. hang loose, as they say. How's that? You know how they do that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, we started. Sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is what happens every broadcast when you don't see what happens before and after. Only what's in between all of these shows. But <laughs> I want to just publicly say uh, thank you to you, Dick Schuster, to Millie Schuster and to uh, Saul Garcia and other folks who will mention some of the folks who have worked with us through the years and some of the special events. And I'll do this disclaimer right now for, for Dick Schuster. <clears throat> if we do some of the folks who have volunteered through the years, they might be one or two missing because, you know, memories are memories, you know, and you kind of forget some of the folks, but we don't mean to do that. But I, I, I can envision right now, like at the holiday parade, the Christmas parade with the JCTV Channel 6 truck out there on Chicago Street and uh, somebody up on the roof of the truck and somebody on the street and a bunch of people inside. And uh, Dick, how many, I've got a lot of questions for you. you know, we might do this for a whole half hour. How many years, we, we talked about this earlier, how many years do you think we've been doing that holiday parade on Channel 6? Wow, uh, I venture to say 25 at least because the truck, our van is uh, 2002, so that's already 18 years old, wow. and we were doing it live before that, just <coughs> without a van, just, you know, equipment out on the street and everything, so uh, it's got to be 25, 30 years, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and the guy on the roof, you said, that was always Skip Lanham. Yeah. Yeah, and the good. guy on the ground with the whole of the camera was usually Ward Ambrose. And then uh, Sal and his daughter are usually in the truck and myself. So, and then we have other people helping a couple other guys. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Until he uh, got the Florida bug, we had John Garrick uh, oftentimes uh, helping yeah. out on the street. Yeah. That's right. John, John. And uh, there was another gentleman from Lockport. I think of his name. And you will before we finish. I know you yeah, will. Know. But you know yeah, what? You know what name you didn't give me? You told me all about Saul's daughter. But who yes. and what is her name? Oh, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just saved yourself there. She's, yeah, she's the whiz kid. <laughs> yeah, you bet. You bet. The and, graphics, everything. Yeah, and kudos to the uh, Garcia family because uh, none of us would be able to watch the uh, city council meetings mm -hmm. and the uh, – uh, zoning commission meetings, and I think there's another one that they do. Yeah. Uh, all planning. the planning commission. Yeah. It's on Channel 6, and the Garcia family make all that possible for us to see. Uh, I think it's uh, shot live and then taped and then played throughout the, throughout the week. Uh, so let me, let me do this. Uh, <clears throat> how many of these things do you think we've done? Uh, oh, not me and you, but you, because you did this before me. Uh, oh, over a thousand, uh, probably 
eighty to a hundred a year. So you know, thirty years, yeah. that's three thousand. You and I have done about uh, to see uh, oh, uh, two hundred and fifty or three hundred, I think. A I year. got it all recorded downstairs. Yeah. Okay, we had a big party sometime downstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. We we'll get them all out. Half we'll the people probably aren't with us anymore. Yeah, but we'll wish we'll see ourselves without the without yeah. the new permanent uh, gray hair we have. <laughs> Although I think I've had my gray hair longer than you have, actually. I think I yeah. turned gray when I was thirty-five years old. So oh, go. I made sixty. Yeah, well, there. That's when you're supposed to, mm -hmm. according to the rules of uh, greatest, you know, <laughs> yeah. we were the, we were the two guys that first came out with the first 50 shades of gray. I'll tell uh -huh. you about that later. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so let me think. Um, I have some favorites. Uh, do you have some favorite videos that you've done throughout the year? Oh yeah. The, the, the ones Melly and I really love to do are the veteran shows. Uh, uh, you know, on Veterans Day, it's usually at the courthouse. And then JT Central has a really nice veteran ceremony they've been doing probably, I don't know, for the last 10 years, I'm guessing. And then, of course, we do a lot at the cemetery, Memorial Day. And, you know, a uh, couple presidents. I've gotten in on two presidents already, uh, President Bush Sr. and President Obama when he was here. And that's an interesting thing to do because you got to go through a lot of rigmarole when you do a president. You know, the Secret Service checks you out, and and everybody checks you out a lot. So that, but it's a lot of fun, very interesting to do. But we do like to work with the veterans. That's that's our thing. Yeah, when you when you talk about covering the uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, Cemetery Memorial Day uh, cel not celebration commemoration. Um, mm -hmm. Where do they put your camera back in the parking lot somewhere? Because you're uh, a local guy. <laughs> no, well, it depends. Um, on Memorial Day, I usually we're the only channel there, so I okay. just get right dead center. So that's fine. But when the presidents are there, um, the first president we did was President Bush Senior. And that was at Joliet Junior College in 1988, I think it was. And uh, they had quite a staff uh, entertainment there, too. Uh, Crystal Gale was there singing and uh, Lee Greenwood. And, and that was quite a quite a that was my first time with the president, you know, checking you out the Secret Service. But the last one was uh, President Obama. So uh, what what we you know, they call you ahead of time and ask you a bunch of questions and then tell you to meet somebody from the White House for your position when you're going to be there filming. So Millie and I went down on a Sunday. We were supposed to meet this girl from the White House on a Sunday and get our location. So we went to the cemetery and we met this lady from the White House and she took us, you know, right on the grounds there where all the stuff was set up and says, okay, I'm going to give you your location. I said, okay, where are we going to be? Well, she took us right dead center in the center, you know, grandstand. And I said, uh, I'm going to be there. And she said, yes, you are. And I said, wow. I said, well, we're just a local station. You have all these other stations from New York and Chicago and everybody, you know, on the sides, on the grandstands. I mean, there's probably 50 cameras at least on the sidelines. And you're giving me this location. She said, well, yeah. She said, I was told that you uh, were going to give a copy of the show to the Veterans Administration in Chicago. Is that correct? And I said, yeah, I did. She said, well, they told me to give you a good spot. And I said, well, this is about as good as you're going to get. I said, I'm looking at the platform. They have your, your you know, names down on the bottom where you're supposed to be. So on one side of me was the White House camera. The other side of me was Fox Fox uh, Productions because they had the pool for that president that day. So I said, boy, I couldn't get a better spot than that. So, you know, they have all the bar lights and you get direct audio. I mean, everything's really good. But to get in there that day, you got to go through a lot of security checks. Um, when you get there, they, uh, you know, make go through your bags and see, make sure you don't have anything in there that shouldn't be there. Then they have a dog go through your car. And then you go through one of those airport security check things 
And after you get through all those checkpoints and everything's good, then you go to your position and stay there. But the day President Obama was there, it, it rained uh, unbelievably. I thought Noah was coming again. So I didn't get a chance to leave my position in time. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't need to take a shower when I got home that night. I was already wet. <laughs> my shoes were full of water even, but it's a lot. Of, it was a good experience anyway. Let's put it that way. And it, and it did go on, though, the actual. He, it did, did but he didn't get up there only for about a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, somebody was holding an umbrella over him, and yeah. he said, uh, I think everybody should go back to their cars about now. But the cars were all, you know, two or three miles away because they were in a uh, right. spot, you know. And then in the lightning and thunder started, and oh my gosh, I was, I, I thought God was coming down again to get us. You know? <laughs> it was that scary. Yeah. Well, let's switch from um, God coming down on you to, uh, <laughs> some of the other events that you've covered any events that kind of stand out in your memory over the years oh wow yeah, well you sure mentioned made... one at the high school you mentioned that yeah right? yeah and you know what we work with the kids a lot um from like central and west and, and uh the, the bands and the orchestras i mean they, those kids are so good they're as good as the american legion band i mean they could they could be playing with them they're that good uh, yeah, we, we do that. That is really great working with the kids. Uh, we do like the alumni banquets at uh, Catholic High, and they always get really, you know, good athlete and speakers for that, and then their award ceremony. So, like I say, we're doing at least between 80 and 100 a year because, well, one week, Millie and I did five different shoots in mm -hmm. one week. Now it's one thing to shoot it, but now you got to edit it, and you know that's about four times uh, uh, time consuming than, than filming it. So, uh, you know, the, the old timers baseball banquet we do every. We've been doing that for I can't tell you how many years. Let me let me hold you up there now. Okay, tell me a little, tell me a few memories of those old timers <laughs> that you can on the air. That you can. Uh, they started. We first. Started doing it down at the old um, uh, the Renaissance Center downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I first, I think that was the first time I ever did it. And, uh, oh, no, let's see. Well, was it that or was that Catholic High? No, the old, oh, Catholic High had, uh, that was their banquets they had. Uh, the old timers, yeah, that was at Renaissance Center when we first started doing it. And that <laughs> There's some, yeah, I couldn't talk about too much on the air, <laughs> but they uh, uh, they get some interesting guests. Let's put it that way. <laughs> a couple of times there was a couple of people we couldn't we couldn't even air the show when it got done, you know. But but they've had great guys on there. I mean, they get six they get six hundred people there at, for an old timers uh, baseball banquet, and they've had some great guys there. Uh, that, you know, really enjoyable. Then they switched to a couple other places in the last few years. It's been down there at um, the old Holiday Inn in Larkin, which I think is a Claritin Inn or something. Yeah, like it's a Clarion now. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, they packed that place. There's 600 people plus in there every year. So it's it's quite a big event that they have, you know, but we uh, we do like the, I mean, I'd, I'd have to really check back in my, my list, but uh, Joliet has a, uh, what is it called? A Hall of Fame. Yeah. And, yes. and they inducted people like, well, Frank O'Leary for one guy uh, I was thinking of the other night. Uh, a lot of all sports figures, you know, Tom Thayer. I mean, we've had a lot of famous sports people from Joliet play baseball, football. And so, this, the, the, you know, museum likes to uh, promote that when they have their uh, Hall of Fame show every year. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> it's interesting city that we have here in Joliet because the city of champions actually is about the bands. People think it was originally for the sports, but it was really about the American Legion band and, and the high school bands, I think too. But it certainly uh, accolades, man, we have a lot of great athletes that came out of uh, the Joliet and I, and I don't know the numbers and I don't know the names anymore, but uh, we have a good, uh, collage, if you would, of actors and actresses that have also come out of uh, 
Juliet. So we got a lot of talented people here through the years and currently as well. Right. A couple others I thought of, Richard, was uh, uh, Dancing with the Stars. I mean, ah, that's, yeah. that, that's quite an event. They packed that place. It's last few years has been up at Woodbridge. Uh, it used to be here down at the Holiday Inn, and then they that outgrew. They didn't have enough room there. There's so many people come to that. And one year, Scott Slocum was out there dancing with Leopard Fans on. Now, that, that's quite a interesting. You can imagine this, right? <laughs> So maybe well, we can get the graphic of that on there. I, yeah, I could add that. I still got it. But uh, and uh, men who cook every year for J uh, Jim Glasgow for the um, yeah. Children's the, Advocacy Center. Easy right. To say. Yeah, easy for you to say. But the men who cook. Yeah, that's a that's a very big ceremony every year too. So there's there's really a lot of big events in Joliet that we cover. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen this year, but. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll do uh, we'll do what we can do. Yeah. Were you when you mentioned Frank O'Leary and you had that program? I think is on this week or was on last week. Yes, where he was uh, with Tony Ray was doing the the uh, audience uh, interviews. Did you do that? No, uh, that was Skip, and at that time that was Channel Fifteen up in uh, Romeoville. Ah. I mean, I was still doing, but then, but they that was their own production. And they had their own production truck then. So, uh, no, I did not get involved with that uh, at that time. But, yeah, that was quite a show. In fact, I, uh, I tried to call Frank O'Leary yesterday, but the number didn't go through. So I just wanted to see how he's doing because he always lived, you know, he's living in Chicago. Right. So I don't know if he's still around or what. But, uh, yeah, and we just got done doing that uh, music, local music Mondays. Um, that uh, Mike Trisna produces uh, with, along with uh, Tim Plaker. And uh, th the last one he did was really fantastic. Uh, I'm trying to think of when it, what month it was, but he was trying to do a, a, a Christmas show coming this December, but I don't know if that's going to work now. But last year and this year, we did all the Monday local Monday night music shows at the Rialto that uh, – that those two guys put together and it was really interesting, you know, entertaining. It's yeah. Fun. It showcased a great deal of talent that we have in the greater Juliet yes. area. <laughs> Young talent, really yeah. great performers. And, and uh, Tim does a phenomenal, I don't know how he gets all these people together and, right. and produces that show. And again, uh, we have a lot of people who, uh, you know, we don't have sponsors on these, these things, but we do have people, business people in the Juliet area who have, behind the scenes helping us out like that concert that you mentioned at the Rialto Theater with uh, uh, you know the Chicago Street Pub uh, family who uh, helped put that I think it was his idea to get that thing going he and his wife mm -hmm. Kathy so we right. thank them as well the um, you know one of my favorite uh, and you were there uh, I, I repeat that talking to these veterans on the B-17 and in the hangar, or not the hangar, but the, you know, where we sat and talked with those guys. Uh, I remember there's one fellow who uh, served in um, World War II, the Korean War, and actually ended his career uh, with the Vietnam War. It's amazing. I think he was first with the Air Force, and I think he switched to the Army or one or the other. And uh, very articulate guy. <laughs> And uh, probably in his 90s. And uh, it was just a thrill to meet him and be able to uh, talk with him. And, and <laughs> I think you're thinking of the same guy I am. I think you are. That He wore his uniform. Yep. yep. They, yeah, okay. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. He, <laughs> he got in the back of that plane. And he was sitting in the back of the B-17. And all of a sudden, the tears were running down his cheeks and i looked and i got i turned the camera towards him and i got him doing it i thought boy he he just uh you know brought back a lot of memories i don't know if they're good or bad but yeah that he was quite a gentleman and uh yeah the the b17 those are great shows i i like to run that this year i ran them all uh veterans day weekend i wrote ran most of all the interviews you did with with the b17 guys uh another one i thought about was uh reese across america that's in December down at the Abraham Lincoln National Cemetery. They get thousands of people.
for that. I mean, that is one huge, that's a national thing across the whole United States on that same day. So they do that at Arlington, all the national cemeteries has reached across America, same day, same day, same time. That's one of our big favorite ones to do. And as long as we're talking about this, one thing we, we got to do, we got to thank George from Al's Steakhouse for letting you and I <laughs> to do these shows that we do these interviews every week. Yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, that's a good point. And, and just you know, unsolicited, let you know that Al's Steakhouse is open and you can go there and pick up and carry out kind of things there. So a lot of our local restaurants right now are doing that with carry outs and pickups. You call ahead and pick up your uh, dinner, your lunch, uh, all the way from, uh, you know, the hot dog places. I won't mention because I've got too many favorites, but we've got some great hot dog places here in Joliet yeah. and uh, franchises. And so we're able to get out in your car and uh, not have much contact and yet uh, still enjoy dinner and, and some great, uh, great lunches. You know, Dick, an in interview that is stuck in my memory forever. That was the one years ago uh, with Santa Claus and the kids. And you, you'd think that'd be a lot of fun. And it was, it was. It was Sam. Um, yeah, Chilino. Yeah, Chilino. Great, great. It was, a, it was a wonderful time. But we do these 30 minutes, okay? So you talk to Santa, and that's a long time to talk to Santa for 30 minutes. And then you have some kids come on, and then, you know, you, you, you do the wrong thing about you, know, you ask him a question. And then a little four-year-old or a five-year-old is going to answer that question with yes or no. <laughs> and that's it. And I, to the, I don't know if you can find that buried somewhere in the archive but in December sometime, but that was, that was a fun, fun interview with me. I think that was when I was also in Romeoville, come to think of it. Yeah, right. In the studios and, and Channel 15 when we mm -hmm. were doing things up there uh, for uh, Comcast. Uh, cruise nights, we've done cruise nights. I, I'm talking about the cruise night that was at the Billy Leemacher Park. Uh, remember that one? Uh, when you come down Jefferson? Sure, sure. It was on the right hand side up the hill. Yep. Yeah, they had the good. boats in the ro going down yeah. the water. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, was, think, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and people don't, I don't think there's too many people who remember that, but uh, uh, we had, what are those things on those? Cigar boats or well, oh, yeah, I think boats. that's what they call them. Yeah, cigar boat. I think so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we had four or five of those things wide open going down yep. the <laughs> this Plains River, and we had boats uh, moored three out, three. You know, we'd have three for about two blocks, three blocks long. Uh, literally, uh, I'd say about a hundred boats down there. And we had the oh, yeah. nighttime parade. And a lot of fond memories of uh, guys like Jim Smith putting that together along with, now see, I, I, I've done that. And I, there was so many people involved. I only mentioned one that I can remember. Uh, Dick Bazzaroni. Dick Bazzaroni was yes. using charge yeah. of that. Well, yeah, he was the head billing uh, uh, inspector in that, you know, for the yeah. city. And that yeah. was his baby. He usually put that on every year. You know, another thing I just thought about that was uh, a really good thing we did, I thought at the time, of course, now it's much better, but was Father Janko. Do you remember when he got released yeah. and we did his homecoming down Jefferson yeah. Street? Yeah. That was, that's something I, I'll never forget that. That was really something. Yeah. And I was thinking now with all this change going on with this virus and that, maybe, you know, we could do this type of interviews with some of your clients or guys, businesses downtown or something, you think? Well, they're not my clients, but I tell you. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, but because I'm also with the Joliet City Center Partnership. So the, yeah. there is a, an emphasis and focus on those businesses. And that's not a bad idea. Uh, we could do it throughout uh, Joliet. We've got a lot of friends with businesses uh, beyond downtown. But I think we will focus on some of those downtown businesses because sometimes, you know, you, you, you forget that they're down there. And they are. And uh, we need to support all of our businesses, but particularly uh, downtown Joliet. We, we, we can't forget. And many people do from time to time. Joliet is the capital of Will County. And oh, yeah. I think, yeah, we've covered pretty good ground here for our uh, time together. Uh, next time we meet, I want to talk to Millie Schuster right along oh, you with do. Dick Schuster. 
<laughs> we'll, you think we'll we can go sit on this beach, though? Yeah, I think we can get you. We'll move that palm tree out of there, and then there'll be room for the two of you. Yeah, keep six feet apart. We got to make sure that Sal is uh, Garcia is available, you know, because he's the brains behind all this stuff. So he's a, we'll he's have to a, check with him. Yeah, well, you know, he was in that movie, The Wizard of Oz. Oh, okay. He was the guy behind the curtain. <laughs> and we'll we'll draw that curtain open and see if we can get Sal Garcia to help us out with more shows here on JCTV. All right. For Dick Schuster, I'm Richard Fredrickson. Thank you for watching.